Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at some important formulas. So the first formula we're going to look at is the formula for the derivative with respect to x of an exponential function. So a to the x. So a here is a base. So a here is a positive and it's not equal to 1. The formula says that this is equal to a to the x times the natural log of a. So pretty easy to memorize this formula. Uh, we'll prove it in a second. The second formula tells us if we take the derivative with respect to x of the logarithm base a of x, this is equal to 1 over x times 1 over ln a. Okay, kind of a strange formula, and we'll also prove it uh, in just a few seconds. And the third formula says that if we integrate uh, a to the x with respect to x, well, this one's pretty easy to memorize. So when you differentiate, you multiply by the natural log of a. So when you integrate, you just divide by it. So it's uh, 1 over ln a, and then you have a to the x plus c, or just a to the x over ln a if you prefer to write it that way. You could write it uh, like this, 1 a to the x over ln a plus c. Okay, so let's go ahead and prove uh, all of these. So let's prove one, so proof one. The last one was just a few words. The last one pretty much follows uh, from the first one, right? So I mean, uh, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's do the first one. So I'm gonna call this uh, a to the x. And then, I don't know if you remember this, but if you have uh, e to the ln x, that's equal to x, right? So you can write this as e to the ln a to the x, right? That's your x. That's your x. Same thing, right? The e and the ln cancel. Then you can put the x in the front. So it's e to the x ln a. It's the power rule for logs. And now we're ready to differentiate this bad boy. So f prime of x, well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here it's just e to the x ln a times the derivative of the inside. So we have to think about what the derivative of x ln a is. Well, ln a is a number. So the derivative of x ln a is just ln a, right? The derivative of x is 1, and the ln a is a constant, so it hangs out. Now what we can do is we can bring the x back upstairs. I'm going to put the ln a, well, I'll leave it there. So put the x back upstairs like this, and we have the ln a here. And these cancel, and so you end up with a to the x times ln a. And that completes the proof of 1. Let's do the proof of 2. So proof 2. So to proof 2, again, we'll start by calling the function a name. We'll call it f of x. And it's equal to the logarithm base a of x. And now we're going to use the super powerful change of base formula. It says we can write this as the natural log of x over the natural log of a. And again, for convenience perhaps, we can write it like this. This will make it a little more clear. And now we take the derivative. Right, taking the derivative. Well, this 1 over ln a is a constant, so it hangs out. And the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, and that completes the proof. That's exactly what we have over here. So the first two proofs aren't so bad. The third one, again, is kind of a consequence, right? Let's, let's look at it. Let me see if I can squeeze it in over here. So we're saying that the integral of a to the x is this, right? So basically, if you multiply uh, both sides of this by ln a, you would get ln a. We're not going to prove it, but maybe just talk about it. You would get this, right? And you ask yourself, okay, what's a function whose derivative is this? Well, a to the x, right? Because the derivative of a to the x is a to the x ln a. So you start with this, 
and then you divide both sides by the natural log of a, and you get this. So really easy to memorize. When you, when you differentiate, you multiply. When you integrate, you divide. Let's do just three simple, 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 easy examples of this. Let's find some stuff. Let's find d dx of 2 to the x, really basic. So let's see. So this will be 2 to the x, and then ln 2. Boom, we're done. Ooh, ooh. Let's, let's find one we've, we already know. Let's find e to the x. Well, we know e to the x is just e to the x. But let's pretend we're just using this formula. We would get e to the x, ln e. But ln e is 1, so we get e to the x times 1, so we get e to the x. So it certainly agrees with what we already know. Let's try another one, d dx. How about log base 2 of x. So using the formula, this is 1 over ln 2 times 1 over x. And you can put the 1 over ln 2 in the front, or you can put it in the back. It's, it's up to you. So when you differentiate, you multiply. When you in, uh, and then when you integrate, which we'll do now, you divide. So it's 1 over ln 3, 3 to the x plus c. So when you integrate exponentials, you divide by the ln of the base. When you differentiate, you multiply by ln of the base. So one more, just to make the point. Say we had d dx of 4 to the x. We're differentiating, so we multiply by the natural log of the base. But if, say again, one more time, say we had to integrate then you would divide by the natural log of the base. Just wanted to do a couple quick, easy examples uh, to help get you started uh, before you see harder problems. So I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.